Well, congressional leaders have unveiled a $1.7 trillion spending bill aimed at funding the government. The omnibus bill also includes a bipartisan measure focused on overhauling the Electoral Count Act. It's our top story this Wednesday morning. Lawmakers are working to fit as many priorities as they can into what is likely to be the last major bill of the current Congress. The bill is more than 4,000 pages long and would fund the government through the end of September 2023. It includes $858 billion for defense and more than $770 billion for non-defense programs. Senate Democrats are calling for a quick passage of the massive bill before current funding expires on Friday. They say the, say they say the bill touches on many of their legislative priorities. And after a lot of hard work, this package represents an aggressive and essential investment in American families, American workers, and in our national defense. It will give our troops a raise, it will make health care more affordable for millions, and it fulfills the promise Democrats made to defend democracy at home and abroad. And included in the bill is an overhaul of the 19th Century Electoral Count Act. The bipartisan measure would clarify that the vice president's role in certifying presidential elections is purely ceremonial. It would also make it more difficult for lawmakers to object to electoral votes from any given state. That's by raising the required number of lawmakers to trigger an objection vote from just one lawmaker in each chamber to one-fifth of both the House and the Senate. Now, while not all Republicans are in support of the spending package, Senate leadership maintains that the current bill would also be a win for the GOP. Admittedly, I'm pretty proud of the fact that with a Democratic president, a Democratic House, and a Democratic Senate, we were able to achieve, through this omnibus spending bill, essentially all of our priorities. The Senate is expected to vote on the bill before the House will. It must receive at least 60 votes in the Senate to move forward.